Welcome back to another Full Throttle Review. Uh, today we will be talking about Philip Guston, uh, 1969 through to 1979, which is on at Hauser and Worth. Now I think it's only on for this week. It finishes up on the 30th, so you'll have to speed in if you want to if you want to check it out. Excuse the pun. Just hold on a second. It's always a bit worrying when the cars are very close like that, but I'm just through there. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so it finishes up on the 30th of, of October, uh, and, I, and I took this wonderful Kawasaki Ninja H2 to check out the show, and, and of course it's a 1000cc supercharged, uh, 240 horsepower to the wheel, I think, with the mods that my friend has done on this bike, and it's a wonderful machine, so I'll be talking about that, and also about Philip Gustin, but anyway... Uh, I've got to start here by apologising to some of my listeners. Uh, in the last videos, or, or, or in the past, I've referred to it as Hauser Anworth. Uh, and, and it was an easy mistake to make. I, the first time I ever went into the gallery, I, the girl on the desk, we spoke a lot about the show and her name was Anne. And, and I just took her to be the owner of the space, I don't know. It was a bit of a comedy, zip through there. A uh, bit of a comedy in, in, in a lot of ways in which you think to yourself, oh, zing. Uh, love going over these bridges here. I love it when you can get it, let the throttle out on a machine like that. It's fantastic. But um, yeah, so I, I've often referred to it as Hauser Ann Worth. That is not correct. Ann was just a girl that worked in the in the gallery. It's actually Hauser Ann Worth. Uh, speaking of names, I've got to get this, I've got to tackle this as well, my, my wife, oh, oh, watch out guy, uh, my wife has often complained about the Kawasaki Ninja, I've always wanted to buy one, but she insists that uh, Ninja is is offensive to, to call the motorcycle that for traditional Ninjas, now I don't know about that, and if, any, if there's any Ninjas or, or people that know Ninjas, if you could leave a comment to... to Tell me if that is actually offensive to to traditional ninjas. Now I'm not sure what the numbers of that are or, or how that works, but that's what Kawasaki's named it, and so that's what we'll be calling it. Okay, now onto the show. I always think with Philip Gustin, th I love those big comic heads and the big big eyes smoking a cigar. And stu well, watch out, studio. Uh, but. I always think, I was thinking about that, that quote which Philip Gustin talks about when I'm in the studio and I'm making a painting, I've, I'm, I'm surrounded by, now I've, I feel like I'm going to mess this up, what is it, he's talking to John Kay, I'm going to wait on, I think what I'll do just to say this is important, I'm going to put that video on now so that you can see what he actually has to Once say. I said something to quote myself by name years ago, I remember that, I was talking to John Cage actually. Those years, I said, well, you go in the studio, and everybody is in the studio. Your friends, and the art writers, and the museum, you know, they're all in the studio. You're just there yeah. painting. And, and one by one, they leave. You see, that's what I told John. And one by one, they leave until you're really alone. And then that's when, that's what painting is. You wait, and you prepare yourself to be, there's nobody there. And then, ideally, you leave. Yeah, I was just going to ask you. Ideally, you yeah. leave. So and then that somebody stays behind and does the painting. That's right. <laughs> a third hand does it. Yeah. That's yeah, right. So a, a, a third hand does it. Now, I, I was thinking about that because it's similar to the experience of going into to the show, and particularly this one of, of Gustin, where you, the experience is that you enter the gallery, and uh, and when you first go in there, you're, you're with everyone else. You're with the dealer and the the security guard and maybe some some tourists that have bumbled in or and you look over and there's also a, an influencer taking selfies in front of a painting or, or an art student and maybe that creepy old guy that you always see at the openings and you're all in there together and and then one by one they leave uh, until you find yourself uh, hopefully you're alone in the space and then inevitably you also leave because that's the nature of going to the gallery isn't it you understand that 
Um, and I thought that was funny, isn't it? Because you, Philip's talking about the way in which he makes those the paintings. Um, and, and I never really thought about it. That's the way that you view paintings. And, and in a way, that's probably the way that it is to, to make a motorcycle as well. If you're one of the original ninja designers, and I don't mean the, the ones that made up the outfits with the little the small um, hole for the eyes, I mean the Kawasaki ninja designers. You start as a giant group, and then one by one they fall away. And, and then you have the motorcycle that's left as well. And, and that becomes the ninja. Uh, and finally, I, I, I then started to think, um, excuse me, dear, here we are zipping along this, a beautiful stretch of road, and it's reasonably clear, got a, but not many motorbikes on there, got to get around that truck. A lot of cars on here, this, but I'm going quicker than all of them. But uh, on the motorbike, when I get on, uh, when I first get on, I'm, uh, everybody's on here with me when I'm coming to do one of these reviews. I got Mick Doohan on here, I got Valentino Rossi, I, I, I got my mum, she's whispering in my ear to, not to crash. Uh, there's the Fonzie, Ooh, there's the Fonzie out the back, he's telling me what to do. Steve McQueen from the Great Great Escape, or there's one kid I went to school with who, he was a rich kid and he had a, he had a Pee Wee 50, he's on the back there with me. Everyone's on this bike with me and one by one, they get off the bike until I'm all alone on it. And I'm just here in the engine. And then eventually I leave. Okay, now to the rating. I'm going to give the Philip Guston show four and a half Ninja H2s. I'm going to give the Ninja H2 four Philip Guston paintings out of five. And I, I I just have to take one Philip Guston away because of the name. I'm still not sure if that's offensive. And finally, actual ninjas. I'm going to give them five homemade throwing stars from from your stoner mate in metalwork. Okay, like and subscribe. I'll be back next week for some more full throttle reviews.